Yo, what's up guys? So in today's video, I'll show you my updated free tweaking utility. So this tool increases your FPS, decreases your latency and input delay. It also has other benefits like cleaning your temporary files and other useless apps of your PC, which is take up storage. But before the video starts, I want to tell you guys about my premium and standard tweaking utilities. So these are basically better and more in depth versions of this free one. They have way more tweaks than this one. So if you notice a difference after my free utility, then my premium or standard tweaking utility will help you so much more. I have hundreds of reviews on my website and my discord server. So make sure to check them out now let's just start the video so the first thing you want to do is join my discord server link in the description and simply go to the free tweaks category right here and go to download simply right click on the file press download i'm sorry it's in a different language for some reason it doesn't change for me but it also may say like this type of file is dangerous this is just because the file changes stuff in your pc but i can assure you that it's completely safe you can put it into any virus scanning software or you can even view the code since it's open sourced. So yeah, simply just press download uh, here, unverified file. Also real quick, if you want me to update the utility to version 1.8, get this video to 1,250 likes. Let's continue. So simply go to your downloads folder, right click on it and run it. So here you can make a restore print, which I highly recommend doing it. This will basically allow you to revert the settings that it changes. Alright, so after that, I just press any key to continue. It will download resources, which are basically apps which the utility uses to run. Alright, so the first thing we have is optimize registry. So simply just press 1, enter, and this will change a bunch of settings. I'll try to make this video as short as possible, so when there's nothing to really say about an option, I'll just go over it. If you guys really want to go in depth on something, like you want to know all the info, simply just Google that exact thing. Uh, just watch the video and if there's a setting you don't know that it changes, you know, it says here you can see enabling large system cache. If you don't know what system cache is or something like that, simply just Google it. So after that, we have power tweaks, which don't do these if you have overheating issues. If you don't, simply just press 2, enter, and this will disable a bunch of useless power saving features. And also stuff like sleep study, simply select EXM free power plan. And if you have any spare ones, just delete them, but I'll use my premium one since it's better. And simply just, this is how you delete a power plant. But yeah. After that, we have optimized window settings, which this is pretty self-explanatory. It also may show an error like this, but you shouldn't be worried about it. Uh, it's because I already have the thing disabled. But yeah. All right. After that, we have clean, which this will clean a bunch of temporary files, which are just files that your PC doesn't need. And don't worry, it won't clean anything that your PC. All right. After that, we have uninstall useless apps, which this will just uninstall a bunch of pre-installed Microsoft apps, which your PC doesn't need. I'm gonna skip to when it's finished. All right, so we just finished. After that, we have Autoruns app, which this is an app which will allow you to disable a bunch of useless startup services. So make sure to go to the logon category right here and basically copy my settings in a similar way. So make sure these NA files are checked right here, CMD is checked and your antivirus is checked. And the rest of it, like Epic Games Launcher, Logitech G Hub, this should all be unchecked since you don't want this running in the background while you're doing something. But you can, of course, manually turn it on again. So yeah, after that, you can just close it. After that, we have GPU tweaks, which uh, we have NVIDIA, AMD, and Intel GPU tweaks. If you don't know whichever ones you should do from these, just go to Task Manager and go to Performance. And you can see that I have an NVIDIA GPU. So I'm just going to press number seven. All right, after that, uh, we have CPU tweaks, which uh, this is pretty self-explanatory. Uh, after that, we have USB tweaks. I'm just gonna rapid fire, fire through the options, which uh, I don't really have to explain. So here we have priority. So you can basically select, you can basically select that the game will get prioritized over other things running in the background while you're playing it, for example. So I want Fortnite to be prioritized. So after that, we have mouse and keyboard. So it will do a bunch of tweaks like this, and then we'll op open this menu. So here you basically have to select whichever type of CPU you have. So go to task manager and go here, go to CPU. And you can see I have a 13th gen Intel Core i7 13700KF. And I recommend basically commenting the CPU in the comment and basically comment the CPU, whatever is written here in the comment section below. And I'll tell you whichever one of these option options you should use. So I have a high end CPU, so I'm going to use that. After that, we have uh, disabled animations, so just copy this. 
Uh, then we have Windows Update Blockers. So here you can basically block Windows updates from randomly starting up. So, for example, when you're playing Fortnite and you start randomly getting like in insane lag and uh, just your PC's performance will completely die. So when a Windows update starts so while you're playing or something, it will completely kill your performance. So I recommend having them disabled most of the time and only installing Windows updates every few months or so. Uh, you don't have to install each of them. But if you want to use Microsoft Store, for example, you have to enable them uh, for some reason. So when you want to download something, just go to this app and enable them again. But yeah, just press apply now and you can exit out. After that, we have device cleanup, which here you can clear uh, temporary devices. But I already used this a little bit while ago, so I don't have any there. But simply just press select all and remove selected. Don't worry, this won't delete anything which your PC is currently using. It's just data of unplugged things. Uh, but yeah, after that we have RAM tweaks, so simply just press 18. It's pretty self-explanatory. After that, we have disable Cortana, another useless Windows feature. After that, we have disable mitigations, which these are uh, w the ones that I selected to be disabled are just pretty useless and they just take up your performance. Uh, these are security features. All right, so after that, we have BCD edit tweaks. Uh, priority tweaks. And after that, we have a few things, which here you can disable stuff like Xbox services, game DVR, and uh, there's reverts for basically all of these. So you can see you can bring back power plants, reinstall default Windows apps, and enable a lot of this. But I'm just gonna speed run through this. All right, so here we have network throttling index, which uh, you can do your research on this, but I'm just gonna apply the best setting for this, and this will slightly decrease your ping, but it's not a 100% guaranteed chance that it will decrease your ping. It's just a pretty basic network tweak. I don't want to add a lot of advanced stuff, which may harm your PC or you know, but trust me, all of my free utilities or all of my utilities, even my paid ones, uh, have basically a 0% chance of uh, harming your PC in any way, unless you really mess up something, but there isn't really anything to mess up, so trust me, everything here is safe. But yeah, I'm just gonna 17, and then we have disabled Bluetooth. Yeah, so that's everything. Make sure to restart your PC. If you don't restart your PC, the tweaks won't apply properly. I mean, you don't have to do it right now, but basically, as soon as you go here, restart your PC, the tweaks will apply after you boot it up again. If you want to use a restore point, which will completely revert all of the tweaks, just press R. Next, select uh, the EXM for utility restore point and uh, go here. Next and finish. But I'm not going to do this since I don't want to revert them. But yeah, if this helped you, go to W, better tweaks. And here you can check out my premium and standard tweaking utilities. So you can see these have a lot of uh, different tweaks. There's a show quiz for it. And uh, you can also look at the reviews. You can see there's a lot of reviews here. And there's even more on my Discord server if you go here. Uh, custom reviews, there's hundreds of reviews. But yeah, uh, love you guys. This is everything for today's video. I'll see you in the next one. Remember, get this video to 1,250 likes for version 1.8. Bye.